Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. I think I said on a video a little while ago that um, I've dropped the fun with, because we'll take it as read, that uh, playing with amateur radio is always fun. OK, now here is the, uh, the RF current meter I showed you the other day. Uh, you've already seen what it looks like inside. Uh, what I've done is I've added uh, a little socket, a little jack socket on the side there, so that I can plug in like that my remote current probe, otherwise known as a clothes peg. It doesn't look terribly bright this picture. I hope you can see that. With um, that's actually um, you know those clip-on ferrite chokes that you get. Um, I've taken the two halves of ferrite out of the plastic housing and uh, just araldited them to the end of a clothes peg. Really, just stood the clothes peg on end, uh, put a bit of glue on the end, and uh, stuck the thing on top, and then just stuck a bit of um, RG213, I think it is, insulation on the inside of it so that it can be clipped onto bare wire uh, wire antennas. Because uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of antennas out there are bare wire. There's a lot of insulated wire, but I thought, well, you know, I'll make it so that uh, it can go on either. So, in a bag of pegs, cost me two dollars fifty, I think. Um, on the top here, you can see this uh, this printed circuit board. Well, you can't actually. Oh, it's not a printed circuit board. It's a bit of Vera board. Sorry. Um, all I've done is I've cut that uh, to shape so that the components fit inside the, the gap in the peg. The other side is identical to that. So the components are mounted so that I can put a cable tie around it and it will just sit flat. Um, and then I uh, just soldered a couple of wires on and that's it. Okay, so I'll just draw a circuit diagram for you so, um, so you can see what, 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 uh, what it actually, uh, what's actually in it. Now, this, um, this jack plug here uh, this jack socket here rather is a switched socket so when I put the plug in like that it disconnects the voltage from this sensor here it's a toroid in here and replaces it with the voltage from that uh, that one there so that's uh, that's pretty much it it's pretty simple uh, pretty simple thing to make and quite useful if you if you play around with wire antennas and you're mucking around with your wire antenna and you're mucking around with your earthing um, I think it's really quite uh, quite a useful tool um, someone's asked me if they could borrow it already that's how useful it is I can't remember the last time asked someone asked if they could borrow something um, I probably wasn't uh, probably wasn't wearing my t-shirt that says please do not ask to borrow anything as refusal often offends just kidding guys you're welcome to borrow it okay now, um, I, I drew a circuit of what was in it before. So what was in it before was uh, it's a toroid. Um, the wire goes through, through the toroid. Um, now that is the, that's the main toroidal sensor in this thing. So that, that toroid is effectively, it, it's here. And the wire runs straight through the middle of it. Uh, it's got a few turns on it. I can't remember how many. I took some off uh, because the voltage was too big. I also changed the value of the resistor. So I changed that uh, resistor value to, uh, I think it was 75 ohms. That comes along there like that. That goes through a diode. It's a capacitor. That's a 0.01. I've got a 47k resistor. Another 0.01. There we go. And that goes to a pot, which is 50k. And then the meter. The negative of the meter goes to there. The positive of the meter goes to the wiper. 
there we go. So that's the uh, that's the circuit diagram of what's in the box. Now, what uh, what I have now with this peg arrangement is there's a switch here. That's the the jack socket switch, so it will go to that position there or that position there. Let's show it in that position there. So when I plug the lead in that goes off to my uh, peg probe and the peg probe is very similar I mean that's the peg probe is you know got the uh, got the toroid that's split remember that opens up now there is a slight difference here because there's only I think uh, two or three turns on there because it's going around the uh, because it's going around the antenna wire, I didn't really want to load it up. I should have actually taken a taken a couple of turns off of that as well. But um, I thought, as that's cl clipping directly onto the onto the wire, I'll have uh, as few turns as I can get away with there. So there's no resistor. Uh, otherwise, it's the same. It goes through a diode capacitor. That's a point oh one that goes through forty seven k and there's another capacitor there point oh one and that goes down to there and the chassis side as well the chassis side we'll we'll just show that as a chassis connection and that goes to the chassis connection so that's all it is so when I plug this little probe in here you've got the ground connection made in the jack socket and you've also got the the voltage connection made um, to the pot so you can adjust it on the meter but uh, that's it that's the um, that's the current meter it's a bit wobbly and if anyone uh, if anyone out there was eagle-eyed enough to notice that my my hands and fingernails are, are really disgusting that's because I've been restoring the roof and I've just got down off the roof so I thought I'd do a video while there was a little bit of daylight left um, so hope you found that interesting uh, as always uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you next time